Indeed, it's not easy to know whether God wants you to hold on to a relationship or simply give up on it. First of all, your judgment could be clouded by your emotions. Thus, you could not be sure if it's God telling you what to do or if it's simply your heart. So what are the indications that God does not want you to give up on your partner? How can you say that he wants you to stay in a relationship and fight for it? First of all, before you can answer that question, you should first understand that you are supposed to be submitted to the will of God and follow God's will as the final say in your life. The will of God should be what you fear and yield to when you hear it and get a revelation about it. When God speaks to you, it is because He loves you and He wants the best for you. God's will is a revelation of what He is about to do in your life. This is why you must pay attention to what God says and you should always seek Him before you make any decision. The Word of God calls you a sheep. That means you should act and behave like one who has a shepherd. A sheep has the lowest of all instincts and intelligence. This is why they always see the need for a shepherd, because they know that they cannot lead themselves to the right path. This is how you should always be towards God. You should believe that what God always has in plan for you is the best for you, and you do not have any intelligence to lead yourself in the path of profit, especially when it comes to your emotional choices. When you follow your emotions and feelings, it can lead you into all sorts of trouble and destruction. This is why you are in a relationship and you do not want to do. Turn your face and seek God's help and directions so that you can have clarity for your future. Sometimes some people are in a relationship and they find themselves in a place where there is a lot of heat. Both partners do not know what to do. They are troubled on every side and they are always in a fight on one issue to another. Both partners at some times might think that they need to break up and separate from each other. That might not be the case sometimes. There might be many reasons why the relationship might be going the way you want it to be. There can be a lot of reasons because both parties are controlled by their emotions and feelings and they just make foolish decisions. But when you seek the Lord in every aspect of your life, you will ask yourself why God does not want you to leave the person behind. You know the struggles and challenges in your relationship and it is something that you can take no more. But when you decide to part ways with the person, there is something on the inside that keeps telling you that you should not break up with God. That is not something, rather it is someone. That is the Holy Spirit or God leading you. The leading of the Holy Spirit is not always mysterious and punky like a lot of people think. People think that when God is leading you, you will have to hear God speak to you audibly or through a vision or dream. That is not usually the case every time. Most of the ways of God are very light and easy. It always comes through the inward witness. You just sense the peace or the lack of peace to take a step or focus on a particular direction. It is always God leading you. When God leads you, you will always be the pointer of peace and assurance. So when these circumstances begin to happen that tell you not to break up in that relationship, even when it is tough for you, you are to discover why God might be telling you not to leave that person behind so that you do not get offended. Like it was said earlier on, when God gives you an instruction, it is always for your good and his profit because he is already successful. He gives his will so that he can direct you to the path of righteousness. There might be many reasons why God might be urging you not to leave that person behind. One of them might be because God knows that the person is the appointed person for you. Not everyone is the right one for you. Not everyone can go into a relationship with you. There is such a thing called an appointed partner for you. 
The reason for this is that a lot of relationships take a different shape and everybody that covers them, it is not everyone that carry the glorious future and destiny that God has ordained for you. God knows this person is the only one that can contain that future, so he speaks to you or gives you the urging and desire not to leave the person, even though things are difficult and tough. Look at the story of Abraham and Sarah. Despite the circumstance, both spouses did not depart from each other. She was barren. There might have been times when Sarah would have argued with Abraham and when they might have had issues at home concerning why no child was coming forth from her, but because of the instruction of God. They did not depart from each other. Sarah was the appointed one for Abraham. There would not have been anybody who would have been able to contain the kind of pressure that she went through. God knows that it would not have been possible to have another woman who will take such pressure, so he instructed that Abraham stay with her even in the tough times. Another example is that of Joseph and Mary. When he found out that Mary was pregnant with the child Jesus, he was very disappointed and wanted to leave her, but God appeared to him in a vision and warned him not to leave Mary because she was special. This might be another reason why God is telling you not to leave that person behind. It is because he knows that the person is special. You might not see it for yourself because you are mad at them and angry at them, but God knows better and he does not want you to miss a whole lifetime of opportunities that you will regret in the future. It is only God that knows your future. He is the only one that knows what you need to get to that glorious future and destiny. He knows that you need that person even though it might not be about your marriage, but about your career. There is something you need from them that must add up to bring you to your desired future and destiny. Many times, it is not that many do not get opportunities that come their way. But the issue of a lot of times is that people always miss opportunities because they do not know how to manage relationships. And if you check the people that have been a blessing to you, they are the ones who are close to you. That is how God always works. When God wants to bless you with an idea that will break up you into your miracle, he will always use those that are closest to you. So when you just break up from your closest relationships, especially from your partner, there is a frustration of God's blessing in your life. This is why the Word of God tells us that he finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor from God. There is a special grace that comes on you that sets you apart when you stick to the one that God has chosen for you, even amid tough and challenging times. This is not what men externally cook up, but it is what God has ordained from his word as a principle and eternal consecration for relationships. Stick to that person and you will find true satisfaction after every challenging time.